My name is Tineke Rense from Powerful Business Academy and I help business women to scale and grow their business and double their income within a year guaranteed. Today the topic is mission and vision. So how are they related and do you need them for your business? Yes or no? And what's the difference and what are the big mistakes I always see uh, in um, in the business world because they get mixed up a lot. So first of all, to be able to know what your mission is, you first need to take it a step back. You need to know what your core values are. And your core values are the values that you live by. For example, my, some of my values are learning. I, I always want to learn, I want to become better, I, I want to improve. Another one is passion, passionate. I need to be able to be passionate during the day and during my work. So that is something which is important for me. Um, I think ins inspiring, insp uh, uh, inspiring other people, that is also something that is in my uh, core values. So you need to know what your core values are. Now, I have an exercise I always do with my clients when we start working. And for example, one of the ladies I started working with recently, um, we did the, uh, the values exercise and she had family in her top five to seven core values. And there's, there's, I have a list of 150 values, I think. And so I said, okay, so when we have all the five values, we're going to uh, check. So, so how should a normal business day, what, what, what should it be like? And we discovered she was not spending a lot of time on her family. Actually, she, she had to admit that she was neglecting her family. And I said, that has to change. Because once it's your core values and you're not living by it, your energy decreases. And whatever you are doing in business with not the proper energy and the right energy, it is never working as good as you want. And the thing is that you won't be as happy as you can be. So she started uh, pivoting her business around the family a lot more and that made a significant change in how she felt, how the family felt. She made some drastic changes, hopped on an airplane uh, the day after or two days later. So it really makes a difference. Now why am I talking about this? Because you need to know your core values first before you can start thinking about what is your mission. Your mission is always about a higher thing. It's never about what you do. It's never about what you want to achieve. It's, it's more like who are you and what's the legacy you want to leave behind in the world. And that's not due to money. You know, legacy is never about money. For example, my legacy is that I really want business women to create bigger businesses because I want the business world to become more feminine. It is very masculine. Men rule the business world. And I'm not saying uh, I'm not against men, so it's, uh, don't, don't correct me. Uh, I'm, I'm, I love men and we can learn a lot from them in business and they have paved the roads for us for centuries but we are wired differently and for us it's not easy to succeed in the competitive business world and competition for example is masculine we don't like to compete because then we exclude people we we are not uh, together so femininity is something else so that my mission is clear so what's your mission? Your mission is something higher, something which has not, it, it has to do with your business, but it's not what your business is about. My business is about helping business women to scale and grow their business. Now, ultimately that's connected with my mission because if women have bigger businesses, they are going to make more impact in the masculine business world. You see, so it's, it's connected, yet it can be totally different. So I could also have joined politics and uh, start to work from a politician point of view. Um, 
to help business women, to support business women, to create programs from the government for business women to help them scale and grow their businesses. I could have, um, I, I can go and do only speaking on big uh, stages for women. I could go and work for uh, an NGO and help business women in remote countries to start their businesses. That's your vision. It's still to do with my mission, eh? helping business women to create bigger businesses so that the, uh, there will be more femininity in the masculine business world. But I can do that in various ways. So the mission is always to hire goods. It's your, your why and your vision is how do you actualize it? Are the mission and the vision really necessary for a small business? Yes, they are. Uh, and I think you can imagine why. Um, you always need to do where you, what you're born to. Why are you here in the world? If you do things against your will, no matter if it's a marriage, if it's with your kids, if it's a job, if it's relationships you're in, you do things against your will, against who you are, and where you are not able to express yourself fully, your energy decreases. And when your energy is not at the highest potential level, you cannot do the things you're supposed to do as well as you want them to do. So the outcome, the success is not what you want them to be. That's, that's a vibration part. The other thing is, uh, on the practical uh, and business-wise uh, level, if you have a mission, you will always know, um, I was giving a presentation uh, the other day and, and I was walking on a straight line uh, to, and towards the audience and I said, listen, here are opportunities and here are opportunities. And I'm walking straight to my goal, yeah, which is always correlated to achieving something of my mission. So your goal setting, first you need to know your core values, then you need to know your mission, then you need to know your vision, and then you can start setting goals. And when you have goals, you have focus. And when you have focus, you know whether to say yes or no to opportunities. That's the whole thing. And you know, I always say a business is a holistic entity. I've just showed it. Core values, mission, vision, goals, focus, direction, knowing whether to say yes or no to opportunities. If we're in business and if we're business smart and business savvy, we see opportunities everywhere. People also reach out to us with opportunities. And if you're like me, you're really tempted to say yes, yes. And because one of my core values is to improve and to get better, you want to, <laughs> I even want to say more yes. But I always have to check, is it in alignment with my core value, with my mission, with my goals? And that creates focus. So yes, it is very important. And yes, people always want to know why are you in it? They don't care that you want to help them scale and grow their business, in my case, but they, every time, well, well, yes, they do, but they like it a lot better because they see that if they grow their business, they can make a lot more impact. And that's exactly what I want to help them with. The mission is your why, and people want to know about your why because that makes you human, and that's the level they want to connect to and the vision is ultimately the business you probably already have and what you already do. As I say, there, a business is a holistic approach. It's, it's never just one thing you need to work on. And you, you've covered one thing and then other things appear. Don't you think it's a no ending story? Well, it shouldn't be that way. It's a lot easier when you work with someone like me, for example, who has over 30 years of experience, who can say and see what's going to be the next step, 
No, that's not going to work. So you won't waste time and you won't make, waste money. Yes, you can do that, but you can also try and do that. It's cheaper. So save on expenses. There's so much I can help you with and, and it will be so much easier to scale and grow your business whilst you're not out there on your own anymore. So why don't you schedule a quick 15 minute call with me? Uh, I won't be selling you during this 15 minutes. It's just having a chat. I'll be checking out if I can even make a promise that I will help you uh, scale your business and double it within a year. Schedule that 15 minute call where I can find out what's exactly going on for you in your business and if you are able to scale and grow it and double your income in a year. It's free. I'm not selling you anything and uh, who knows, you know, next year you'll be looking back and you have your bookkeeper and say, what did you do? What happened? You doubled your business. That's it. How magnificent would that be? How would you feel? So bye bye and speak to you next week. <music>